So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first wrestling title? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part to get this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. While self-belief is a powerful thing, he has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. Grace the Octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. So here he is, the UFC featherweight king, Alexander Volkanovsky. And we have truly run out of superlatives when it comes to talking about this man and his mixed martial arts acumen. There are three guys who can lay claim to being the greatest featherweight of all time, and yet Alex is kind of distancing himself from yeah, that pack. It's crazy. It's crazy how good Alexander Volkanovsky is. I mean, you always knew he could fight. But to see some of the performances as of late, see how he continues to evolve and get better even as the champion is really impressive. And it's a credit to him and all of his coaches, but mostly his mindset. I don't know if there's a guy in fighting that has a higher fight IQ than Alexander the Great. I just like to take note of what I'm experiencing every time this guy steps in the octagon because it's always something special. And certainly since he signed with the UFC all the way back in 2016, he has been a promotional workhorse. Strength of schedule as good as it gets. And of course, as he enters competition tonight, can lay claim to four combined wins over Jose Aldo and Max Holloway. Greatest Great. featherweight of all time. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> So Herb Dean, third man right, in there right. for this one. Right. Good. All right, here we go. Early round action with the UFC featherweight champion Alexander Volkanovsky. And when you want to talk about mixed martial arts evolution, perhaps no man has improved as much over the last two or three years than the featherweight king Alexander Volkanovsky. So much so that his opponent tonight doesn't necessarily know what he is in for. set up to the leg kick. All right, so we will see early on how the both man chooses to proceed, and no surprise to see Volkanovski go to the leg kicker. I mean, we have seen this constantly with Alexander Volkanovski, especially in the first Max Holloway fight. He won the fight behind the leg kicks. He is so smart inside of the octagon that he will throw these leg kicks, not hard, but they draw something out of you, and then he starts to attack you with things that have more force. This guy's tremendous, and that is why he's the best pop pop fighter in the world. Oh, what a fight. Went 
for the inside leg kick. Back and forth we go. Oh, nice punishing kick to the body. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there. I hope. on three minutes to go. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'll tell you, man, you kick the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. A little bit. Horrible. Oh, effective use of the jab by Volkanovski. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Leon Edwards. Kick is true. Body kick is blocked. Oh, nice leg kick attack there from Alexander Volkanovsky. You know it's a city kickboxing fighter if they're employing that one. And, and you know, honestly, John, he's done that over and over again. The leg kick. Oh! Oh! That, that is it! Leon Edwards has done it! Holy smokes! The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 52 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Leon Rocky Edwards. Headshot, bang, dead. It wasn't that tonight, but it is Leon Edwards by knockout. Rocky, man, what else can you say? Leon Edwards, man, this guy is a, he really is next level.